What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I just wanted to bring an update video for you guys on the current jailbreak for iOS 12 and some more news. So first off, we're going to jump into Apple has stopped signing iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1. So at this point, you can no longer downgrade with iTunes from 12.1.3 or even 12.1. 2 beta if you're on that so downgrading is no longer possible and that's why i have updated you guys in numerous videos telling you guys to get on those firmwares while you can before apple closes the window so it is officially closed so now it is survival sur survival mode if i can speak uh, for us that are on these lower firmwares because if for whatever reason you have to restore your device, you will have to update, and that's if you're using iTunes. Of course, if you guys saved SHSH blobs, like I mentioned in other videos, uh, there is a way to, um, to restore to those versions of iOS, uh, but that will be a separate video that I'll be doing in the future. Um, it is a very in-depth and hard task to actually do that without you know, being forced to update to the newest firmware to actually, you know, stay on a current firmware that's no longer being signed it, like I said it's it's a very hard process but it is possible uh, but anyways like I said guys the firmwares are no longer being signed that are jailbreakable if you guys are on 12.0 like I am or 12.0.1 just stay there the jailbreak will support basically every firmware that is in red as you guys can see so 12.0 through 12.1.2 very cool now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the rootless jailbreak. It actually has been updated since yesterday. I wanted to cover it. I'm going to mention in this video again, like I did the last one, this is a developer jailbreak. I would highly recommend you guys not to use this jailbreak unless you are a developer or a developer level with jailbreaks, just because it is not what you're used to. It's not going to install Cydia. You have to manually install tweaks and all that. And uh, I would just advise not doing it until the official jailbreak for iOS 12 comes out. Uh, but I'm going to really quickly touch base on how to get the rootless jailbreak. You'll just need to use the Ignition application. If you guys need to see how to get that app, I will leave a link down in the description on how to get Ignition. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to go into the sections. We're going to go into jailbreaks. And then we just have to scroll down a little bit here. And as you can see, there it is right there, the rootless jailbreak just go ahead and select on that you can click on the get button and then install once that pops up and it will install the rootless jailbreak now since yesterday the jailbreak has been updated as you guys can see there is an icon for it now i think the icon's pretty cool looking um, i think this jailbreak in all honesty is is a great jailbreak just because it's allowing developers to update their tweaks for ios 12 for those of you that are like me that are not going to use that jailbreak and you're just waiting for a regular jailbreak, this is a really good you know, thing to have. It's really good progress for the jailbreak because once we are able to jailbreak, we'll have tweaks that are already updated for iOS 12. So it's definitely a really good jailbreak, at least for developers, like I've been mentioning throughout the video and in my previous video. Uh, but if we go ahead and launch it, as you guys can see, this is what the rootless jailbreak utility looks like now. It has a background. It's been cleaned up. It's got an icon, and it just looks really good in my opinion. I think it's really cool looking. As you can see, rootless jailbreak at the top there. It works for iOS 12.0 through 12.1.2. You have logs. You have files. Uh, you have super i super su, and then you have the ability to use tweaks. And then from this point, you just click on jailbreak, and it will jailbreak your device. You also can in uninstall at the bottom there. And as you can see at the bottom there, exploits by Ian Beer and Bazad, and this was created by Jake James. Now, this jailbreak is still currently only working for A9 through A11 devices. So if you have a 5S or a 6, this jailbreak will not work. And if you have the newer devices like the 10S, the 10S Max, and the 10R, uh, it will not work for those either. The developer is currently working on updating it for support for those devices. So just give him some time. He will update it and it should work for all devices that can run iOS 12. So keep that in mind. Don't bug him on Twitter. He's getting kind of uh, pissed off about people bugging him for those devices. He is working on it. Just give it some time. 
Uh, luckily, we have these exploits. A jailbreak is coming, guys. You just got to be patient for it to be created, basically. And when, once it is, I will, of course, cover it immediately here on the channel, showing you guys how to jailbreak with the latest iOS 12 jailbreak. Uh, but anyways, like I said, guys, just another update video. Rootless jailbreak, a developer jailbreak. I'm advising not to use it. I am not using it personally just because I am not a developer and I don't want to go through the hassle of manually installing tweaks. It's just not something I want to deal with. And I don't want to risk screwing up my device and losing my firmware, getting stuck on a newer version. That would really suck. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this jailbreak update video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.